guys, everybody, this is Crypto Muscle. This is coming to you in a YouTube video. Here we are, International Round Worldwide. Thank you guys, where it's at. Crypto Muscle on the Crypto Muscle Network. Coming to you in a YouTube video. All right. So uh, here's the Crypto Muscle Network. And uh, let me see if I can pull up the Legacy Channel here. What's up, everybody? And uh, whoa. <laughs> the double shot here. Here's the Legacy Channel here. Let me do a refresh. Let's do this. There we go. What's up, everybody? Uh, let's do that again. All right, there we go. So here's the legacy channel. I call it as the OG. This is my original channel, and you guys know. Most of you know my, uh, you know, the channel now. All right, past and present, which together, you know, we we you know keep it going forward. And so you know, I just want to just uh, do a video here just to kind of. Say happy Thanksgiving, and uh, this is where it's at, right? Uh, this is going to be kind of just talking about a little bit of everything, kind of shoot the shit, and talk about a little bit about everything that's going on right now as a whole, collective in space. So it's not necessarily a death watch. It's not necessarily new platforms. It's just a little bit of everything, all right? You know, just in general. So, I, so of course, I'll talk smash and trash, because that's always a must, right? And I'll talk about current opportunities and things like that. And just kind of like where we stand, you know. And it's Thanksgiving, you know. So I just want to say, first and foremost, Happy Thanksgiving, right? And um, on top of that, you know, you got to look back over the past year or so and just, you know, see what you're thankful for, right? You're thankful for, well, living life. You know, you're thankful for the circumstances you're in, whether it's, uh, hopefully a good circumstance you're in, right? You know, you're in a good situation. And if you're bad, you know, in a, not in a good place right now, you know, hopefully that you could, you know, get yourself out of that sort of uh, situation or predicament and, you know, and hope things are looking up, you know. Um, you know, so that's, you know, where we're at. And uh, I'm thankful, you know, always, always thankful for, for, uh, and I feel blessed, you know, just for everything that life has to offer, right? Whether, you know, it's crypto, whether it's real life, you know, work, life, family, pumping iron, just everything, you know? And so definitely thankful for everything, for uh, where we are at, where we stand. And uh, I'm always, always, always counting my blessings, you know? Um, just very, very fortunate for, um, just where we are, you know, I couldn't have asked for anything better and, and anything that we, anything and everything that I'm in right now and doing, you know, uh, just overall and, and just life and crypto, everything, just everything as, as a whole. So, um, I also want to thank every one of you guys out there as well because you know without you guys I wouldn't be where I'm at as well with the support of you guys right and so you know I go about my ways right and my whole thing is that I you know I do these things every day right you know two to five videos a day 15 minute two second videos seven days a week right crazy right but I love it you know and uh, I couldn't have done it any more than what I've done and I, I maximize myself to the fullest potential each and every time right every time right? I'm not cutting you know, I don't cut the corners I you know no bullshit stuff all right and I just put my heart into everything that I do and so um, and I couldn't be where I'm at all right and, and I'll say it again till I turn blue you know over and over and over again I would not be where I'm at today all right without the legendary Oracle all right if if it wasn't for watching and emulating what he did and does to this day, right? If it wasn't for that, I don't know where I'd be at today. I could be wrecked like Tiwi, you know? <laughs> yeah, I could be out of this 
space like bits away, right? Trying to, to f figure my way back in with with different IDs and things like that, you know. And and the list goes on and on. I mean, it's like it's crazy how crypto is. It's crazy how life is and where it it takes you, you know. And so. Um, but funny at the same time, you know, you can always look back and laugh at things. And uh, I laugh at everything all the time because, you know, things crack me up all the time. I laugh at everything. Um, I mean, I, I'm pretty thick <laughs> when it comes to the armor. To, you know, if you want to penetrate me, oh, man, you're going to have to dig really hard and deep to dig through me. There's nothing that could penetrate me all right, through this armor. And so, um, yeah, it's just funny, though, you know, just how things are. And the playing field, right, used to be stacked, all right, when it comes to all these, you know, numbnut YouTubers and stuff like that. And they all just fall out one by one by one by one over time to where it's at today, right? We're in a new crop, new generation. I don't know what to call it generation, but just a new wave of YouTubers, right? A newer wave. I wouldn't say newest, but newer wave of YouTubers that come through, right? And, you know, these guys far off better <laughs> than what we saw for past representation. It's like, come on. And the, the past was so garbage that I'm glad they're all out of here. Now we have this new wave, right? Newest wave. I don't say new. They're not new now. They've been around for, you know, since like pandemic times onwards how about that you know that's kind of to me pandemic 2020 was kind of like the end of one chapter on to the next for a lot of uh for uh just wave of youtubers right where i just kind of transcended through that <laughs> oracle transcended through that and so um you know it's just funny uh and i always say it all the time like we have the stories that no one else can bring in crypto from those from that past times of the chapter one times of this you want to say wave of youtubers in in youtube space no one has the stories like we do and can tell it like we what we can and so you know transcending on to present day still carry that still can all right I, I'm, I'm i'm the bridge of the past to the past the present and still the future all right and so uh that's where we are right and you know there, there's still some uh idiots out there that i see all the time you know and especially you guys hear me all the time i, I call his shit out all the damn time because he's so full of shit too all right just like how i call tv out all the time all right, I, I I call I'll, I don't give a shit what he thinks, but I'll call Marcos out all the time. Cause he's so full of shit. All right, he's always lying. Just tr complete fucking trash in this space. I mean, I hate to say it, you know, happy Thanksgiving, but uh, complete fucking trash. All right, and so you know, you know, when I hear him speak about things, and it's like, come on, dude, you're so fucking full of shit lying out your ass all the time even when he takes a break in crypto because he needs a break you know from all the failures that have happened and that never explains about the failures right he just never talks about it he's too good for that right he's too good to talk about the failures in these platforms but yeah man when there's platforms that are here and all about it oh yeah he's all over that right and so it's just funny how that is. And that really shows you the true person that bullshit anybody is when you do shit like that. You know, it's just, and that's what cracks me up at the same time because you can see through that shit all the time. Shit. I've, I have examples of other people seeing through that shit. <laughs> right? All right. Uh, here's an example, right? Another fellow YouTuber, Jorge Vassal, right? He saw through that shit. We saw we saw through that shit together, you know. And we were laugh we laugh about that shit. 
And it's just funny how that is. All right, so let's let's talk about this, all right? <laughs> you know, so let's see here. You know what cracks me up, all right? Besides this uh, drip network chart, <laughs> getting closer and closer to those all-time lows. I mean, look at this. It's about to hit all-time lows. Look at that. It's just barely 2% up from all-time lows, right? When you look at it right now, crazy, right? It's about to, about to be there real soon. <laughs> and it's funny how that is. But you know what cracks me up besides this, all right? When you see bullshit out there, you know, um, in this space. So let me see here. Is this the one? Oh, yeah, yeah. Here it goes. Here it goes. All right. So this little bitch ass, all right? Um, lie. I'm a fucking liar, man. All the time. Lies about everything. So this little bitch, right? Can't explain why platforms are failing, the Vortex, the invisible AIs, right? Every time all these things have failed, you know, he'll justify his little, uh, you know, boss of his, right, Jan. He'll justify everything, you know. He has the answers to everything. Oh, my gosh, you know, he has the answers for it all, you know. And, you know, but never say anything, you know. Oh man, you gotta stay positive. You know, hopes and prayers, hopes and prayers, man. I pray for this. Get the fuck out of here, man. So, for, so this douchebag, all right, as a bitch that he is, says that he supports things and all that. But yeah, you take down all your damn videos, right? You take it all down, all right. And so, you take it all down and leave one up, right? Which, by the way, this is completely out of date, too, right? You know, it says 11 months ago. Like, the information is out of date. So I don't even know why he kept it up. I, he just kept it up just to maintain the channel because he took all his bitch-ass videos down. All right? So all of a sudden, all right, I've been talking about Echo 1 for at least a month now. And I know that when it comes to Echo 1, we'll talk about more about Echo 1 a little bit later. But we all know about Echo One, right? It's all about that, you know, it's instant Bitcoin payouts. So we all know that when there's instant Bitcoin payouts, oh yeah, this bitch ass will will be sniffing out uh, the buckle brush, man. He's sniffing that shit. He he comes right out, right? This bitch will come right out, right? You know, start doing the little videos once again, and you know, not even really talk about hey, what happened with Vortex and what happened with uh, Invisible AI and. Cloudfy, the list goes on and on. Like none of them, he's too good to talk about failures, right? Why do they fail? And leave everybody hanging all the time. He just goes and hides out like his little bitch Jan, right? And uh, not only that too, his little bitch Dora, Doris, Dora, all right? So, uh, you know, it goes and hides out, right? He thinks that hiding out for a while, you know, let things, you know, kind of settle down, uh, you know, people will forget, you know, and then he could just jump right back in and be like, hey guys, look guys, I got this incredible platform, oh my gosh, this Echo One, right? Yeah, get the fuck out of here. So, for example, you're right, check this out. So, you guys see this right here, right? Four days, five days, you know, I got 100 views, right? You know, that's typical, very typical. For the amount of real people he has on his channel, right? Not this fake bot subs. Because we all know, if you've been tracking and following my channel over the past year, I've shown you the the blown up growth that when you buy subs can do for you, right? I've shown you guys how he's blown it up. And let me show you guys even right now as we speak how all of a sudden... These views and this will go up because he's gone viral, right? Oh, man, that's just justifiable because he's gone viral, right? Check it out. Let's refresh this. Oh, my gosh, he has 32,000 subs now. And, oh, shit, man, this thing's blown up. You know, 9,000 views, 6,000 views. Wait for this one. All right, this one's going to catch up to these two, right? Because this shit's going viral. You know why? Because he's just a viral kind of guy. Get the fuck out of here. This guy is so fucking fake and false. So full of shit, man. He was sitting at 20, you know, 25, 26,000 fake subs for a very long time from the point of when his platforms that we were all in crashed to all of a sudden zero content 
for months now, right? We we're counting how many months since the last time you did a Vortec video. Uh, it got to be uh, what, at least three months, three to four months. Not nah, three months because you're talking August, right? And you don't grow if you have zero videos on your channel to all of a sudden you have videos and just bloom, just overnight, just grow. So that shit's fake. Just like you are, fucker. And so, on top of that, you know, I listened to the bullshit he spilled and his little bitch boyfriend there, Malachi, he's so full of shit too. That dude was so desperate for a platform. Don't worry, Don Malachi. I know I know the story about you too, you know. You're desperate for a platform. You're begging. Man, we gotta have something, you know why? Because their bitch boy Jan got nothing for them. So, so Don Malachi, who has nothing bad to say about Jan, because Jan is such a great guy, right? <laughs> Jan left them all hanging. Desperate for a platform, man. Come on. Came through and saw and got this one, all right? Because, you know, he was asking around. He was trying to sniff around, looking for a platform, too, because he's a little bitch, too. Right? Thinks he, he represents... You know, his homeland and all that and fair good. Get the fuck out of here too, man. It's so fake. Right? Oh, man, I'm thankful because Jan's such a great guy. Get the get out of here, man. I see. I saw that shit. You guys are so fucking full of shit. And if Jan was so good, what happened to Surex, right? Didn't I call that shit out? Surex, man, is non-existent. He don't even talk about that anymore, man. That token piece of shit platform. Didn't I, call, didn't I say that shit? Right? Just like uh, that other bullshit platform, Tegeta, psh, gone. Call that shit out too. Right? I'm just saying. You know, like, he, you know, you, I guess you could try to put a lipstick on a pig and call it a beauty, but come on. <laughs> really? So this shit, all right, this liar, I was listening to his shit and I was like, come on, really? You know, he was trying to explain how great Echo One is, and some of the lines I heard, I was like, wow, you're such a liar, right? For example, um, you know, about how he, you know, he always says, I don't give financial advice, but he always suggests, right? I suggest this, and it's like, well, that's giving advice, dumbass. But he suggests, you know, the withdrawals on weekends and to try to keep it. And he talked to the people behind it to keep it at a minimum to one to two, right? The people of Echo One. Get out of here, man. You didn't talk to nobody. Uh, he talked about how he talked to these people, you know, to make sure that, you know, they only could do one or two because, you know, doing multiple withdrawals on, you know, for something like this is bad for the platform. And it's like, um, <laughs> yeah, because... Weren't you the one that did that in CloudFi, you dumb fuck, right? You know, he was doing that shit in CloudFi. You guys remember that where they were doing like five, ten multiple withdrawals in the same video with Jan? And they were celebrating and they're like, oh, yeah, oh, my gosh, you know, and like a dumbass marks that they are. And they were doing that shit. And all of a sudden he flips the script on this one and says, oh, yeah, man, it's bad for the platform. And it's like, yeah, dumbass. So, you know, shit like that. You know, some of the bullshit, you know, I, I, you know, as I listen on, you know, and I'm just like, you're so fucking lying, man. And, you know, I never flipped on so many, you know, on on someone so much. Not even on TV. I've never been this bad on TV. But this guy is worse, all right? This guy is worse than TV. And that, because he lies so damn much, TV is just plain stupid, Right? This guy is just a pathological liar. Lies so damn much. He makes a lot of claims. But he's so full of shit. You know. And I, I just keep seeing it. And, I'm, and listening to it. I'm just like wow man. Yeah. You know, I help people make crypto gains. While teaching diversification. Yeah. But you leave them hanging. All the damn time. Never one time you just say, hey, um, put out something to where, hey, you know what, guys, this is what's happened here. Um, you know, this is, 
the situation, this is the story. Not one time. Each and every time, it's silent. You take down the videos like a bitch that you are, and then that's it. Each and every time. Each and every platform. All right, so don't bust me up with that bullshit, all right? And watch, this This video is going viral too. Watch, it's going to go bust up in subs real soon, all right? We're going to keep an eye on this one, all right? And you'll see. And I'll uh, thank me later when I'm right again, all right? Just like I call it everything every other time oh by the way let me make sure i give you guys an exclamation point all right on uh this right here so this is uh lee dalton's telegram all right when when uh the communication when i told him about be careful with jan so this solidifies besides we already know the platform's offline invisible ai but this solidifies that he's completely gone, all right? So he's done. Because remember how the last words I told him? There's a cease and desist to hit Cloudfy and Vortec with Jam being involved. Please be careful. And his last words to me was, damn. Well, he's gone now. So Lee Dalton's gone. Invisible AI for sure is gone, all right? I'm waiting for the... I'm I'm waiting for the, the Jensen one to be gone real soon, all right? Just like how uh, Vortex has gone, all right? I'm waiting for the Jensen one to disappear real soon. But yeah, this guy has all the answers, right? He has all the answers to everything, man, because he thinks he knows it all, man. And, you know, I do this and I do that. Get out of here, man. Just be careful with this fool because this fool will lie to you all the time. He thinks he knows everything that there is about crypto. He knows what's best about everything. And he don't know jack shit about nothing except just lie all the time talking about oh don't do multiple with you know it's bad for the platform well you did that shit dumbass <laughs> it's like you know nerd shit like that right and I, i'm waiting for uh a jan to come back and fuck this one up too because that's what's going to end up happening right so far so good jan's keeping his little distance all right he's he's doing some platforms overseas right now infinity pie and all that and over, stuff overseas so uh, as long as he stays out there, all right, stay away from this. We already have one, one shitty one right here. All right, gotta watch out, cause uh, these fools, man, you know, especially you know these two fools that remaining, trash. All right, full of shit. Gotta be very careful. I, I could pinpoint and, and pull apart all the bullshit they claim all the time. All right, all the time, cause he, he just. So full of shit. So, just saying, all right. I I've I've been doing this for a long time now. Gotta be careful, this fool. That's all I gotta put out there for this. All right. Echo One is a good platform. Believe me, it is a good platform. I I talk about it. I've been covering it since the beginning of pre-launch. All right. He's claiming he's been in it for a little while, but. He's been so busy that now he's finally been able to get back to doing videos. Like, get the F out of here. You weren't busy doing nothing because you were doing videos after videos after videos. And when shit is the fan, you stop doing them. You hide out. You take down your videos. You go do your shit. Hang out for a while and, and do nothing. Right? Timing this shit out. And then right when there's a, a ripening opportunity with instant Bitcoin, guess what? You come out of those little bushes of yours, and you, there you are. You're back at it again. Look at that. Just jam right back up with videos, just like that. Because all of a sudden, you're not that busy anymore, right? Just like your fake ass, you, you know, you're high behind the guise of religion on Fridays and Saturdays. Get out of here, that shit. All right? Stupid disclaimers about, well, this is not intended for people in Canada and, and North America, USA. But you're a fucking American. I know you're in Europe, but you're a fucking American, so what kind of shit is that? You know, it's like, yeah, turn your back on everybody, all right, you know, so shows you how un-American he is, bitch. So, you know, it's just funny, though, and I, I, I just listen to this shit, and, and uh, it's just funny how this character is, all right, full of it, all right, so just watch out for this clown, all right, because... 
he's going to make all these claims, and I could debunk him each and every time, all right? I'll debunk him all the time. But yeah, so yeah, Invisible AI <laughs> for sure is gone, all right? Uh, that That is way gone. Um, and then, of course, uh, Vortec, right? We've talked about Vortec. Uh, they're supposed to be in this sort of maintenance. They're shifting things over, you know, to uh, you know, other things, you know, to the new United platform that they're going to be in, right? And here's the artist formerly known as Maxbred here. All right. How's that one going? <laughs> uh, it's funny how they were trying to keep people hanging on to Coin Markable, all right? I wouldn't doubt if uh, that dirtbag here, you know, decides to uh, come back and try to push some sort of compounding way, all right? Just some sort of way of compounding, because he's a he's a bitch for compounding too, and we all see what compounding has done. Every time they try to push that in every platform, it got you all wrecked. Right? You never got you never guys got you know you never got to collect. So yeah, so thousand dollars and then watch how thousand dollars could be like eighty five thousand dollars. You know, watch how putting ten thousand dollars get you a million dollars and all this other bullshit stuff. You know, fucking liars, man. They you know that's the thing they cannot even keep it real for once. That's that's so easy to do, just to put out shit, and then uh, when shit hits the fan, just delete the videos and go hide, all right? And then uh, don't face the people, right? Don't face anybody. You know, try to let it blow over. People will forget, and then come back and be, hey, guys, check this out, guys, new platform. Get out of here, man. Trash. All right? And so, uh, let's see here. Um, you know, so that's the thing you guys got, got to watch out for, right? Hey, I, I, I talk about it every time. Every time. When the platform fails, I talk about it. When Even if I'm not in the platform, I, talk, I cover those platforms too, right? Oh, well, here's another one. Mila Finance just failed yesterday I wasn't in Mila Finance but that was a name that was out there and I didn't join it but that failed Carol Finance that's another one alright better be careful with that one <laughs> I've been seeing some things be careful with that one I know that uh, Jamie out there is pushing that one pretty hard be careful with that one though I, I don't trust Carol Finance at this point Early on, yeah, fine. But I'm not in Carol Finance either. And um, But at this point in Carol Finance, it's been out for I don't know how many weeks now. And, you know, the way DeFi is, it's always, it's definitely in DeFi, it's always first in, first out, for sure. If you're not in early and first, ooh, man, you better hope you get out at least whole and even <laughs> you know when it comes to DeFi, right and that's a whole different animal i don't i dabble with DeFi, but i don't mess with DeFi very much you know so just saying that's just a whole different animal and uh that's why i i don't i don't know i i i, I touch on it but i really don't mess around with DeFi very much but yeah so you heard that right we all know mila's done Carol Finance, be very careful. All right, be very, very careful. I know it's being pushed very hard. Uh, let's see what else is out there. You know, um, I think those are the only warning indicators I've seen. All right, so uh, as of right now, we all know, for example, Verse Network hasn't been paying. They, they suppose they're trying to catch up, but man, have you seen their minimal daily gains their daily gains are tiny six <laughs> percent average monthly return is going to get them it's going to take them a very very long time to catch up from the time they wrecked right that's the situation with versus they wrecked and that's why they're not haven't been paying 
But they're, they're over anyways. I, they're trying to justify shit. They've been over. Since they wrecked, it's been over. That's it. Flat out. Don't expect anything out of verse. All right. So uh, we can go down the line here. Let me see here. Uh, various leaders behind that were all about Novatech for a very, very long time. They've moved on. All right. You know what's the, the next one thing that they've been kind of pushing on now. Hmm, let me think. Which what are they pushing on right now? Um, man, I can't think of the name of it right now. But yeah, very like a lot of the top leaders in the space have really kind of you know Norvitech's been done, but you know what they've been pushing on now? They've been pushing on a platform out there. I can't think of the name right now. But uh, that's that's besides the point. All right, that they're. they're if you see numerous Novatech leaders uh, on a platform, it's because that's the next one. Man, but I can't think of it for the life of me right now. So uh, I'll, I'll get back to, the, to you guys on that one, all right? Um, let's see. We knew Mainnet was done. And, oh, Global Aid... The only one really, I don't even know if anybody's even talking about Global Aid anymore. I think this shit's been done. They're like the, on, the, on their last B&Bs on this deal. And this shit is just, the concept sucks, all right? This whole Matrix bullshit sucks. And, or not Matrix, yeah, this Matrix that they do, power line, and all this stuff. Anytime that any platform claims to, to talk about, oh man, you can make so much on spillover and all that stuff. Don't ever go for it, alright? Because you're just wasting your time. Alright, so... You know... Spillovers, if anything, is very minimal. Alright, so... Very minimal, if anything, and then... That's it, you know? And then you'll be like, oh... That's all? You'll be deeply disappointed, so... Yeah, garbage, all right? And here, <laughs> you know what's funny about these guys uh, at this AAC stuff? I told you, I looked at this, and I was like, I'm not joining this shit, right? And uh, the thing about this is that they expected it to be, you know, going on for years and years and years, and all that stuff only happened in a matter of days, right? And for right now, in order to get anything out of this thing, you know, you got to keep on clicking your ads and, you know, going through your ads daily and collect, right? Click your ads and collect, click on your ads and collect and all this other garbage stuff, right? To try to just get something out of it. And they're really trying to get everybody that's in it to do that and to do their part to try to keep this thing alive, all right? To me, it's on life support, flat out. This thing's not going to be anything more than <laughs> what it was when it first came out the gate, all right? Now, it's just waning away. This shit's going to be done. Just saying, all right? This it, it shit's going to be done just like our, uh, you know, near all-time lows of uh, drip here. Is going to be done. All right. Funny shit. Funny shit. Now, you know what? Let's talk about the flip side of things. You know, we got to spin this thing. It's Thanksgiving. I'm thankful, you know. And uh, I'm thankful to talk trash and to really speak my mind about these fools out there in the space. And at the same time, I'm thankful for the opportunities that I bring upon myself and to share with everybody else. And you don't have to go into these things for what it's worth. But let's talk about what we have here, right? So Infinity Pi. We all know about Infinity Pi. It's a, it's a hot commodity right now in this space. Hot program. And the Pi, you know, the Infinity Pi tokens, right? Collect, collect, collect. Right? It's supposed to be, you know, you just collect and let, and then sell it. You can sell it right now on PancakeSoft if you want to. But supposedly it's supposed to be way more valuable if you hold on to it and it's like whatever i'll just i go along for the ride anyways right infinity pie legacy DeFi night it remains to be seen it's supposed to be a legacy in the making it remains to be seen right now you stake 
turn up to 20%, right? Oh, man. I mean, this is a legacy category. 2020 fund. Uh, you're going to earn for 20 business days and then whatever is accumulated in those 20 business days is what gets tabulated and you can hit a withdraw and boom. Kind of similar to, uh, to uh, crypto program, right? So good platform, legacy. Whew. Right, We saw how long crypto program went. Why can't 2020 do that? It can and it will. Maybe even better. One-on-one moneymaker. Another good one. Wait, it's gone beyond well over 101 days now. Right? Legacy in the making. Definitely a legacy, but continue to build on its legacy is what I'm saying. My DH Life. Man, we're in this pre-launch stage, man. For a couple months now. And it's, it's still going to be a pre-launch till January. Take advantage of this opportunity. There's a lot that D- My DH Life has to offer. All right? Besides the the gifts that it has, there's something else in there too that let's just say it helps as a it helps build your um, crypto. I'll leave it at that. I don't want to say the key words because they don't like you saying those key words, and I'll, I'll respect that. But there's a lot to like about my DH Live, and I think it's worthwhile. Legacy, Echo One. We talked about it, right? We need something like an Echo One right now in this space. All the stuff that's been falling off in the past, let's just say uh, 30 to 60 days, right? Or let's just say in the last 60 days. How about that? You know, we need an Echo One in this space, you know, with something that's, you know, gaining steam, pays out instant, especially in Bitcoin. Big winner, legacy, right? Banger, we just talked about this. This just came, this came out just a week ago. This thing's going to be a legacy. It's going to be good. Bino Energy, another one. With the the clout and the various leaders behind this, Bino Energy is going to be a good one. Legacy. FX Chain just came out. Monday, just launched. All right. I mean, they've been putting out feelers. Over the past week, but no no uh, deposits till Monday when it officially started. FX Chain, with all the leaders and stuff behind it, the CEOs that are behind Bino and FX Chain. Oh yeah, these guys are gonna be banging. All right, it's gonna be uh, legacies for sure. BB All Stars, it's, it's hanging in there. All right, is this kind of like a hypey kind of uh, DeFi smart contract type of thing? Maybe I should move it out of this legacy, but it's been hanging. It wasn't a pump and dump. It, it's been building. People taking their, uh, I guess it's a quote unquote profit. And it's still kind of just hanging in there, you know, looking for that next wave of building up. BNB All Stars, you know, something to know where you look at. Aladino another one all right this one is more like gearing up for the bull run it's all about mining in general but it's much deeper than that that's what Aladino is much deeper than just mining alone but for sure it's gearing up for the bull run and you want to be ahead of it before the bull run and that's where Aladino will put you in it will put you in, in place before the bull run Perfect for the bull run and perfect for mining. All right. But you got to really see for yourself. Uh, here's one right here. Bass and ass. I call it bass and ass because they're trying to keep it low key, private, low key. Well, I won't dig into it too much. You really have to see for yourself. Bass and ass. All right. Simple. Bar none. Legacy. All right. What they're trying to go for. Their visions, their aim, definitely could be a legacy. And then I put these two hand in hand together, Saphir Zanik and Daisy AI. All right, because they've been around for a very long time now in this space. Uh, what, two years? Both of them, at least two years in this space. 
So it's been it's been a crazy ride. Daisy itself has been, I think, a crazier ride. But you know what? They they still keeping it going on on the go. So these two are some classic legacies right here. All right, high yield platforms, <laughs> the lone gunman right here, at green income. Cover that earlier this morning. They're the lone gunman right now. It's okay though. High yield platforms. I'm slowing down right now. It's the time of year. Right? Uh, so you're probably going to be seeing a slowdown in that. It's just the time of year. So, you know, we'll keep an eye on that. I love high yield platforms. Don't get me wrong. But that's where it's at. Mid levels. All right. Let's talk about mid levels now. Crypt option. You're going to earn to you five times your deposit. Damn. Shall Bank. That's been running for some time now. Great mid-level platforms. Been running since, I think, the summer. Daily Mines. You know, I had a... Um, I don't know how to, how to describe their launch, but it didn't go as expected on the launch. A little hiccup. But uh, after that, they've kind of just picked it up going forward since. Uh, it's been... Um, about a month and a half, almost two months. So yeah, daily mines. All right. We're gonna. I'm gonna talk about more about daily mines in detail. I haven't talked about them in a very long time since their launch. All right. We'll talk about that. I covered Trade Twenty Four. It's been around since April. Quopi, man, since been around since literally the beginning of the year. I think it's been a monster. Quopi. If you haven't seen it, check out my Saturday videos. Quopi is a headline on Saturdays. Crazy good platform. Centrium. Another instant payout uh, platform right here. All right. Still fairly new. It's only been uh, less than three weeks. Cool platform. One Ozo. Potential to be a legacy. I have it as a middle over right now. This has a potential to be legacy. We'll see what happens. All right. Arbitrage stack. Huh. Last time I checked, they were in maintenance. Let's see if they still are. Either they're in maintenance or they're gone. All right, because it says site maintenance. Let's see. Are they back yet? Nope, not back yet. So uh, I don't know if they're gone, gone, or I ought to see officially if they're gone. I'm going to say, you know what? I'm going to go out on the limb. I'm going to say they're gone. <laughs> How about that? I haven't heard anything official yet, but from anybody or the chatter from anybody yet, I'm going to say they're gone. I'm going to say Arbitrage Stack's gone. How about that? Gone. All right, so uh, we'll say that. Let's see what else we got here. Oh, Lux Watches. All right, so more mid levels just joined. Lux Watches just joined that a couple days ago. Galleon X. Been around for a little bit now, at least a month or so. GIS, same thing. LG, private group, right? Lance Green, Shh. don't tell nobody. All right, that's been around for a while now too. They like to keep things low key. They don't want all this content on YouTube out there. They were trying to just keep it private, low key. I respect that. That's why I call it as that. You know, LG private group. XB. Got more in-depth video later on today, but a great platform, three ways of uh, earning. Check that out. ATS Corporation, it's another good one, All right? It's been consistent. Check that out. Hubis is a new one I just joined, um, along with um, Lux Watches. Joined those two the same day. Uh, so we'll see how that goes. This is going to be super long term. We'll see if they can last that long based on. But if they do, hey, more power to them. If not, <laughs> I, it could go either way. But Hubis has the capability. Will they do it? Time will tell. Lastly, Liquidix. All right. Uh, they did a, an update. And, um, you know, positive update. There's a positive update about Liquidix. 
So um, they're, they're, they're going to be around for a little while, and we'll see how it goes. So when you look at that, though, I mean, we're stacked. And if we have high-yield platforms, we're really stacked. But I like diversification. That's why I always balance it as such, right? Very well diversified where it comes to mid-levels, hypes, and then you got the legacies. We're kind of balanced across the board, you know. I like to just have that. Um, because if one fails, you have something else that picks it up, right? And we've been continuing on this trend for a very long time. Very long time. Constantly earning every day. Every day we're earning something. Every day we're withdrawing something. Out of out of a platform. Every day. And that's been my key this whole time. Since I started on YouTube. Cash of X. On YouTube was my first. And I started to. Infuse other platforms. Over time. Or dApps. Over time. And then. Just continue to just build it out, right? Diversifying into hypes back then. Same thing, right? Daps, hypes, cash effects. And as more platforms came along the way, got into that. Man, we were double fisting, man, with cash effects and Cuba Life back then. Triple fisting for just a little bit with PGI Global. Whoo! Man, three legacies like that. Three monster legacies. These were monster legacies, along with a little bit of uh, mid-levels, Mido Finance, Atiora, right? Throw some hypes into it when we had my micro profits. Oh man, what a year that was, 2020. Man, you know, I know that 2020 was a COVID year, but man, that was the rise of crypto muscle, man. I'm telling you, because of all these different platforms. And what you were getting out of it. Oh man. It was crazy. And so I just continue this trend to this day. Doesn't matter their legacies. Their mid-levels. High yields. We just keep it going. Keep it churning. Keep it pulling. (laughs) Pulling out that crypto. And keep it going. Right. That, That just keeps rolling and rolling and rolling. And that's what we do. Keep going forward, pulling something out every day. It doesn't matter if it's just twenty dollars or a thousand dollars, ten thousand dollar pullouts that we were doing, right? It doesn't matter. As long as something's coming out every day and you're just filling that wallet every day. Right, you guys seen my my earnings, right? Sometimes I only pull out like twenty bucks. But it's still earning. It's still pulling it out, putting it in the wallet. Some platforms, I get a, a huge, you know, downline. And then there's some, there's none. Doesn't matter. I'm here to entertain, right? I'm here to entertain. I provide the opportunities. And I leave it up to you guys to kind of look into it. If you like it, you grow with it. If you don't, then, hey, power of choice. I always say power of choice. Right? You have the power, the choice to make up your mind on what you want to do. Who am I to tell what to do, right? Who am I to say, oh man, this is going to be the best thing ever, right? Who knows? I could say it, but you really have to really look into it and then believe for yourself if it's going to be the greatest thing or not. Right? You can't just take my word for it. You really have to just really look into it and see. I, I, I truly believe Echo One is going to be great. Right? But you got to see it for yourself. You know, I'm not going to sit here and say that I don't provide financial advice, but I suggest this. Right? (laughs) Suggest. Um, But if you're suggesting, that's giving financial advice. I don't know. Tell me if I'm wrong. If you say you don't give advice, whatever, but yet you're making suggestions, isn't that the same damn thing? Right, so ah, correct me if I'm wrong. All right, and um, you know I go into all kinds of stuff though. Right, so did a video uh, yesterday covering 
trading you know when it comes to trading and the method I like and prefer which is the Oracle trading method I call it the war on one minute chart boom there it is for you right there all right this is a consultation with the discord is definitely worth this is a real investment right here all these other links and all that of the platforms those are not investments those are just building up your stash right because you have an expectation of return but you never know these platforms can be here one minute and be gone the next right but when it comes to this consultation to learn is well worth an investment because you could take that and apply it and build yourself from it to me that's a true investment right so you know just think about that you got NFT marketing this GMET is garbage I just have it I don't have it on my videos but GMET is garbage all right I could talk about this uh, probably another time straight garbage but uh, because if you just see what I've been seeing there is this Maybe I'll talk about G-Meta on a death watch one day. They're just straight garbage, you know. Um, and I've been meaning to talk about them, but I don't know. I don't know if they're even worth talking about, but I'll talk about them one day in one of my death watch videos. Uh, Betunex, that's an exchange related towards uh, War on the One Minute. Five bit and Betunex are like kind of like the main two exchanges to utilize for uh, this special trading method of leverage trading uh, my favorite way of uh, swapping crypto is simple swap because you know not all crypto can be swapped say like if you're using coinbase right they don't use all crypto so simple swap minimal fees very simple and fast and so I like simple swap coin ledger all right Coin Ledger is all about pretty much uh, for your taxes, all right? If you're applying it towards your taxes, that's what Coin Ledger is for. And I do my taxes, so I, I make sure I pay the government. I'm not going to try to circumvent it. I make sure I do my part and pay because I, the last thing I want is any sort of three letter authorities coming for me because I didn't do that. Because they will always get their money, all right? So. Might as well give it to them. Don't try to hold out. All right, it's just gonna be worse on yourself. Cash app, obviously, right? Bit refill. Bit refill is a great way to use your crypto, right? Instead of cashing out, right, and pretty much paying like your um, what do you call those uh, <laughs> capital gains? I guess you could say, in a sense. Bit refill is a way to go, right? Because you just convert all the gift cards. And they have lots and lots and lots of retailers. You could just really don't ever have to cash out. Except for like a major, major purchase. Like if you're buying a car, you can't put that on a gift card. But here, for your everyday groceries or, you know, just clothes, gas, travel, entertainment. Every other aspect. Just huge purchases. You, just, you know, it's obvious you got to sell the crypto and cash it. But everything else in life, you can just use BitRefill. Coinbase, great place to start. To me, is a great place, an easy place to start when it comes to buying crypto and then utilizing it towards the things that we do in the space to grow the crypto, right? Trading, platforms, all that stuff. I like Coinbase for that. I think it's just a simple, easy way to to you know transfer from crypto to cash or cash to crypto right here. All right, uh, and then of course you have my Telegram channel, my YouTube channels, my podcast channels, everything else here, right? My link tree. <laughs> it's one of my uh, other favorite places too, right? As a hobby, I like to offer my link tree. And so here's my link tree, right? And I only use it for um, my mashup musics here, my music mashups. You know, so I'll you know all the different mixes I've done so far I haven't done one in a little bit uh, since the, this Tupac one 
a lot of people were asking me about when are you going to do Tupac? When are you going to do Tupac? So I wanted to just get Tupac done. You know, it took a while because he has a lot of material to kind of to collect and then to put it all together to mash it up into a mix. It's it was it was work, <laughs> all right. But um, you know, so I did that because a lot of people asked. Uh, some some of the favorites from people that just no, from feedback, Scott Storch production here, great mashup. Uh, another good feedback that I got too was a so so deaf, Jermaine Dupri, um, hits. And it's not Jermaine Dupri himself. It's just because he's the producer of various artists. That's that one. And uh, me, my personal favorite, I keep going back and listening to is the Kanye West one. It's more of his early hits. Um, but yeah, so I got more to come with these mashups too, by the way. Uh, I, I'm, I got a lot in mind on what I want to do. It's just a matter of collecting all the music materials and trying to figure out how to put it all together, you know. And uh, I got a lot that I have in mind that I want to do. Like uh, I want to do one on Lil Wayne. Um, I want to do one on on like a John B kind of uh, artist as well um, if you guys know who John B is um, <laughs> Miss Queen D inspired that one right there for me uh, let me see what else is it? Cash Money Millionaires uh, Cash Money slash Young Money I guess um, West Coast and East Coast right hits of the West Coast hits of the East Coast and there's so many of them that I want to do. Um, this is the matter. It's just time, you know. It's just tough. But I, I, I'm doing my best that I can. So this is everything I, that's about me. This is my world, all right? You know, when it comes to this, to crypto, my real life, pumping iron, all that stuff, right? By the way, ran my first Spartan race uh, about three weeks ago for the first time. In four years, <laughs> because of pandemic, uh, the first two years, uh, last year, I uh, could have done it, but I don't know. And then this year, finally, just had this urge to just do a Spartan race, you know, so I just did one, finally, you know. If you guys don't know what a Spartan race is, let me show you guys real quick here. I'll show you what a Spartan race is about, you know. No obstacle course, this type of stuff, right? You know, this this type of thing. Yeah. So this is the stuff I was doing, or back then, and the pandemic really. They killed it for the for one year. They brought it back slowly the year after, and then last year could have been could have gone back in, but uh, went back this year. I just had this itch to do it got back in it so I'm in it got two more to do and I got a trifecta and a trifecta is when you have three different courses run you put the pieces together you get that giant medal <laughs> for your achievements so that's everything that's I mean that's everything about my world that I am in and uh, I just want to share that with you guys and again I just want to say thank you you know happy Thanksgiving thank you for everything and like I said you know I you know, if it wasn't for Oracle, I wouldn't be where I'm at. And if it wasn't for the support uh, of you guys, I wouldn't be where I'm at as well. All right. Um, so you know, it's all it all goes hand in hand. Definitely very blessed, and definitely very thankful for that. And guess what? <laughs> because of this, this will be a podcast. All right. Uh, usually, when I like to when I run one hour videos, that's just straight podcast too. So check out my podcast channel as well. All right, uh, as I like, post it all across the board. But yeah, so I just want to say thanks for uh, tuning in. Thanks for listening. Um, if you made it this far, you know, that's cool. I just want to say thank you, you know. And, um, you know, we got a lot to look forward to, you know. And hopefully we get past all this area of just bad platforms lately, you know. And hopefully uh, it just gets back to where it was when we had some great ones, you know. And I think we're, in the, we're slowly heading that direction. All right, so other than that, uh, links in the description for everything that we talked about. And uh, other than that, hit me up. Subscribe to everything I got, and I'll see you in the next one.